swagger. You watch how he comes out. Not necessarily his first shot, but I think you could see Carlos Boozer physically look like he was ready to play. And then when he started playing, you saw how active he was. He, that free throw, that doesn't, that doesn't happen very often where a free throw shooter shoots and misses, gets his own rebound um, with a defensive team like the Lakers. Carlos had a big game. I mean, what are you going to say? He did everything he was supposed to do tonight. And I'm a thorough. I like to watch mannerisms of the guy, not like if how he's how he is on the floor. You watch Kobe and how confident he walks around when he's talking to his players. And that's the, what Carlos had tonight. I listened. I went on the radio with David Lockton on 1320, and he said Carlos is shooting. It was 4 o'clock. Carlos was already here at the arena getting ready for this game, knowing what a big presence he was going to have to be tonight if this team was going to win. All right, Jazz get the victory. Now they force a game four in this series. You know, if they can get this win on Sunday afternoon, it'll be interesting because this group of Lakers, they haven't won a closely contested playoff series since they had Shaq. Last four years, they've gone out in the first round three times, had a lottery team. This year, they've won the Denver series, but there was no pressure. And I'm curious, this is the first time Pau Gasol's been in a series that wasn't a sweep. How do they react? Do you think they feel the pressure that Buller was talking about after game three, or do the Jazz have to even it up before there's really some heat on the Lakers? I think there's a little heat on the Lakers, but I, I think it's really up to the Jazz. I, I personally believe they have a better game in them. Maybe Carlos doesn't go 20, 27, 20, but there's some other guys in there that can come out and play well, and we haven't seen the Jazz collectively play well together. You know, Millsap and a Boozer and a Matt Harkin coming in, and they can do that. When they do that, they're unstoppable. They are. I don't know if they're feeling a lot of pressure right now. They know they didn't play their best game tonight. You saw their 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 guys, their their role players play very well at home, and so do the Jazz role players. So you expect that to happen again Sunday afternoon. You just hope the Jazz come in with the same intensity and with this crowd they've got. I don't see why they won't. All right, Jazz Sunday afternoon trying to square this series up at two games apiece. Let's go downstairs. Ronnie Brewer and his post game comments. That's what we saw. Ronnie, it looks like you're sporting a souvenir on the side of your jaw. Can you tell me a little about that one? No, I was just trying to defend, uh, try to go straight up. Um, Kobe coming with elbow a little bit, but it's part of basketball. Got to play through it and um, try to do that. Can you talk about uh, tonight's defensive effort on Kobe? You said a moment ago that, that he struggled. How much do you attribute to uh, the defense and how much just to the fact that not everybody's going to be on every night, even Kobe Bryant? I mean, he, he shot a, a good percentage. Um, but like I said before, even though it, he might score a lot of points, but as long as you come away with the win, that's all that matters. So uh, I think he was trying to get his teammates involved early. He didn't take as many shots as he normally does. Um, but... Uh, Everybody knows we can score a lot of points in a quick amount of time. So uh, he got hot a little bit, but uh, we didn't panic. We didn't falter. Um, we continued to execute, and um, that's what got us to win. They got within three late. You guys got within four and five late, uh, and the home team has been able to hold off. Talk to me about what went on in that huddle when Jerry called a timeout after the three-point diff difference tonight. Man, just not to panic. Uh, I mean, they're going to they're gonna have to foul eventually. We've got to knock down our free throws. I missed one. Booz missed one down the stretch. Uh, but... He pretty much just told us to, to uh, stay poised, stay calm, execute our offense, and defend, and um, don't have any uh, letdowns, and um, they got us to win. And you got it into your pace tonight. It was more of a half-court game. They got 10 fast break points, but they didn't get into the track meet they were able to do at home. Yeah, well, early, we, we didn't um, turn the ball over, and um, that was the turning point. Uh, we were turning the ball over, our, taking quick shots, and it led to fast break points for them. And um, we executed our offense really well tonight, um, cut down on the turnovers, and it kind of took them out their fast break mode. Now game four, nothing counts for anything unless you defend again in game four. Exactly. I mean, they took care of business, taking two games at home. Oh, we got to do the same thing and make it a series. All right, there's Ronnie Brewer's post-game comments. Well, I mean, he's exactly right, and, and to his point, this next game is obviously crucial to the Jazz, but the thing we talked about, things away from the game. I saw Darren Williams get on a couple of guys tonight about taking care of the basketball. I think he got on AK, yeah, told him to swing at one time, but a crucial moment I saw was nine minutes in the fourth quarter. He called everybody together right at the scores table, and he just started talking to them. That's big. I think that's big this time of year, and it just shows the leader that Darren Williams is. All right, let's go downstairs. Phil Jackson, Laker coach, going to the podium. Well, they got after us tonight early in that uh, first quarter after Fish got his second foul, and we had to make an adjustment out there. Uh, I think they went on a 15-3 run and you know, kind of maintained the energy of that first half. You know, I, I thought we came back, had our shot. At the end of the game, we had a play on a tip. Didn't work. You know, we, we didn't execute very well and uh, lost our opportunity.